Hey guys, welcome to this video on how to restore your clone system onto your internal SSD. Now, in a previous video, I've shown how to clone your system to an external SSD. And since then, one of you has asked me to do one on how to restore your system. So here it is. So, after cloning your desired OS to a new SSD, and before erasing your current OS, before wiping the internal disk, you want to power up your Mac and enter macOS recovery by holding Command R. macOS recovery will take a longer time to load than your OS, so don't panic if your Mac doesn't get to recovery at once. Okay, so now we are in recovery and you have your current OS with the current admin you'll need to select your admin and click next to enter a password so now after you enter your password you'll get to macOS utilities now when we get to macOS utilities what we're gonna do in this step is to go to the top menu, click on utilities and select startup security utility where you'll change your startup security configuration. And here is why I told you not to erase your previous OS because you'll need to enter the password again. Now that we are inside the startup security utility, under secure boot you can see three options. All of these three options are fine because you are booting from another instance of macOS which is signed by Apple and trusted on Macs. But for allow boot media, you want to select the second option which is to allow booting from external media because you are booting from an external SSD. Then we want to quit startup security utility using a keyboard shortcut of command Q. Okay, now we are in the main menu again. And now it's time to click on the Apple logo and select a startup disk to start up from your external media. Because it's the first time starting up using this new cloned OS, the boot time is going to be a little bit longer than you will expect from your everyday OS. And we're up. So now it's time for you to enter your password and get going with your new OS. Now that you've modified your startup security settings in macOS recovery mode, you can erase your internal SSD. Now for the purposes of this video, CCC Restore Tutorial is my internal SSD that I cloned from. So now I'm going to erase it using the same APFS Apple file format. And it's done. So now the CCC Restore Tutorial disk is empty and we can proceed with the rest of the restoration. Now let's go ahead and open up Carbon Copy Cloner from the Launchpad and get going with our cloning back to our internal media. Then all that is left to do is to select your source which is your new OS that you have on your external media and your destination which is the internal volume you have in your Mac. And once you've selected those, unless you want to tweak some settings, you are good to go to clone your OS back into your internal media. So you can go ahead and click start and wait for the process to finish.
Upon successful completion, your OS is cloned back to the internal media, and you can start off from there. At Boot Logo, press and hold Option on your keyboard to see your boot options, and select the disk you want to start up from. At the login screen, enter your original password for the OS that you cloned from, and you are all good to go. Now you are in your system. Enjoy. Now I'm gonna show you guys a second approach to the problem. Let's say you backed up your system using a sparse bundle disk image, or DMG disk image, or any sort of disk image that CCC supports. After you've backed up all your data into a disk image, you just have to go back to CCC and restore it. Let me show you how. So, you've got your sparse bundle image over here that you've done earlier using Carbon Copy Cloner. And now you are going to restore that image onto your internal drive. Okay, so for source, instead of selecting these disks to clone, you are going to restore from the disk image. And uh, just select that sparse bundle disk image that you created earlier. And for your destination, you will select the drive that you want to restore to. So, in this case, it's CCC Restore Tutorial, my internal media. Okay, so if you don't want to tweak anything, you can go ahead and click Start. And it will start the whole process. Here, the speed will be significantly lower compared to direct file-to-file -file cloning due to the relatively high compression ratio of a sparse bundle image. So just sit back and relax. Impatience is your worst enemy here. And now, with the system restored from the image to the target disk, we can start up using the target disk. So let's go ahead and click restart. Restart. At boot logo, we want to press and hold option to see the boot options we have. And from here, we can select CCC restore tutorial. You can see that uh, the disk is bootable. And let's start from there. Here we go, so we can see that we are started from CCC Restore Tutorial instead of the other ones. Everything's working, the hot corners are set up, all my applications are there, and that's the whole process. I hope this answers your questions. That's it for this video, I'll see you in the next one, and peace.